Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a heat map table. So a heat map table in this instance is using conditional formatting. So in the range of colors here, the red would indicate the lower end of the spectrum and green would indicate a higher end of the spectrum. So in sales, green the, the greener the cell is, the more sales or the higher the sales and the redder the cells are the lower and of course in the middle you'd have your oranges and reds. Now if we wanted to do something where it's cost and indicate that the lower end of cost is green and the higher end of cost where there are increased costs it's red we can also do that and that's just also using conditional formatting. So let me go ahead and just copy this table let me go ahead and select here Control C to copy, and I'm just going to paste special here. I don't want to paste the conditional formatting, so I'm going to go up here and go paste special, and just paste the formulas and number formats. So what it's going to do is going to put over these formulas here. What I've have here is a ran between function, so it's going to randomly select the number between five, 50 and 500. So what I'm going to do here now is just set up the conditional formatting. So if I select this range of cells. And under the Home tab, go to the Styles group and click on the Conditional Formatting command. And I have these color scales. The color scales that I want is either the green, yellow, red, which means green is the higher number, the uh, highest number, or we can do red, yellow, green, which means the red color is the higher number. Since this is, I'm going to assume that this is the cost, I'm going to go ahead and select the second one where red indicates a kind of like it's bad where you know you're, you're, you're having too much cost and green indicates it's good so I selected that and now we've got kind of a semblance of it and this is kind of a semblance of our heat map it now all it is, is just formatting so I can just uh, select these headers and just go ahead and center that and you've noticed that I have these grid lines I can also make these grid lines disappear I go under view and just click on the grid lines uncheck that box and you notice in the previous tab I had these kind of like white grid lines that kind of nicely visualized it make it made it look a little neater so I can do that here what I can do is just select this area here and then I can right click and go under format cells uh, and then go to border in the border tab I want to select the color first I can so actually I can select the style, but I'm going to stick with the default style it gave me. The color I want is the white color here, and I want the borders to reflect on the inside. So I'm going to click on that, click OK, and you notice that now it's got the nice borders here. And if I wanted to kind of give some extra row space, I can select that row and do a right click, insert row, and maybe over here, select this column, right click, insert column. Whoops, I deleted it. Control Z to undo right click insert column so now I have like a kind of a nice type of heat map if I wanted to randomize this data I can go to formulas and press calculate now or just the F9 key you can see that you can press the F9 key to recalculate this so you can see that now it's changing a little bit so this is a way to show a heat map uh, kind of visually nicely visualize uh, if you've got some high end of the numbers where they are in the table and also where are your low numbers and in this case low is good because uh, we're, in the, we're we're assuming that the low numbers indicate cost lower cost and the high numbers are red indicating a higher cost so there you go here's how to create a simple heat map table hope that helps thanks for watching